Hello to you all. Here's a suggestion of a stroll to discover Barrio Alto and Estrella Hills in Lisbon. On the program, some spectacular views, impressive churches, beautiful gardens, bars, and even some cemeteries, if death doesn't scare you. Let's start by one of the most beautiful lookout of the city, a big market square full of trees with a solemn statue and a pleasant strand, Miraduro de São Pedro de Alcantara. From the promenade the void, and in the foreground the flat and orderly center of Baixa, punctuated by large squares. In the background the Castle Hill and Graça Hill. Lisbon is a majestuous town, and this is one of the places that confirms it. We could start the stroll at San Rock Church below, a baroque illustration of Portugal's wealth, which was an empire at that time. Gold flows in an amazing show, grand and almost bizarre. Or we could start some 300 meters below, in the ruins of the Church of the Carmelites. The Hercules in 1755, and the hands of reproach of a god who left his house, fall in its faithful on All Saints Day, a crepuscular and quirky place. Barrio Alto is made of lanes, in a great pattern, known for being lively in weekends, many bars and restaurants, many tourists and dealers. Also some nice places to go out remain, the whole progressively loses its charm with the growth of tourism. But let's start again towards Principe Real Gardens, along Dom Pedro 5 Street, 20 bars and restaurants, and especially Jaraconda from South America, in bloom in May, covering the sky and the pavements with purple flowers. Principe Real is the heart of this posh district with many luxurious boutiques. It is, above all, a beautiful garden full of trees, which can be sometimes exceptionally big. You will also find here several stands with welcoming terraces, benches, lawns, a market on Saturday mornings and a magnetic, easy-going way of life. We are two steps from the University Botanical Garden, one of the many in town. Don't miss on a romantic and educational wonder in its shady alleys. Many species of palm trees, bamboo, bougainvillea, yucca, monkey puzzles. The outdated but charming Natural History Museum could complete the visit. If you like religious architecture and azulejos, don't miss visiting the Cardo's convent, an educational guided tour of an exceptional place strangely hardly visited. Going down, Neto Park looks like a village square with many bars, cafes and restaurants, more or less original, such as a craft beer bar, a Persian restaurant or a Danish cafe, among others. One of the best cocktail city bar is two minutes away. Foxtrot is a charming and low-key place where you can go drink some of the best cocktails in Lisbon. The mixes are made with talent to your taste and the mixologist's suggestions. It is divine. And the pole tables enthusiasts will even find some tables in a retro style. The next step is the inhabitants of Lisbon's favorite garden. Estrela Garden is near to the church bearing the same name. The famous tramway 28 goes through there. Here we are in another posh district of the Portuguese capital. The garden is rather big, well kept and lively. Budding botanists will find many tree spaces, cactus and flowers. A cafe surrounded by water and kids' playgrounds. Opposite, the English cemetery had been for centuries the last resting place for non-Catholics and strangers who had the non socially idea to die in Lisbon. Romantic and lush. If you are into cemeteries, the one called Of Pleasures, Dos Prazeres, is the equivalent of the Parisian Père Lachaise. The tramway 28 will take you there. The former royal hunting ground became a massive necropolis dominated by the smell of slender cypresses and where rectangular mausoleums of dignitaries revolve in elegance with each other. The last leg will delight cacti lovers. This may be the first botanical garden partly dedicated to them. Necessidades Park bordered the royal palace, which became the Foreign Affairs Ministry, a magical and surprising place and hardly even known by the inhabitants of the city, where cacti and yuccas impress were their plethora and size. Simply fantastic. You will find more about Lisbon in description. Let us know if you like the stroll by leaving a comment. You can also subscribe to follow and support us and discover more city in an original way. Be curious and enjoy the stroll.